All right, it's time to really put Tesla full self-driving beta 11.3.3 to the test. We're gonna try and do some real ride sharing rides, have the software try and pick up and drop, drop off passengers and see how it does. So this won't be me picking a start and stop that I think I would like or that would make for a good video. This is gonna be a real ride sharing ride. And it looks like we've got our first ride. Perfect, so now that we've got our pickup destination in, let's go. Car pulls out of its parking spot. You can almost imagine this being a robo taxi without me here. It's parked on the street and you say, hey, go make some money for me. And it goes and it pulls out and it starts heading to a passenger as soon as it gets a request. There's a Waymo that's driverless. It's happening. Okay, now let's go. We made a left followed by an immediate right. Very, very smooth, very impressive. That's the kind of comfort that the riders will really appreciate. Very smooth stop, despite there being people. It tends to sometimes slam the brakes when it sees people, but very smooth there. And now we got a left turn coming up. We gotta wait for this car to go. And now the coast is clear. Here we are. And this is our pickup spot. So let's pull over. Let's unlock the car for our riders. Well, I've never been in a Tesla, so thank you. Oh yeah? There's the first, hello there. there's the first hello. Yeah, a lot of people tell me that. <laughs> it's like driving a big iPad. <laughs> it is. <laughs> exactly. Not one of these driverless cars then. Yeah, the, it's driving itself right now, so you can see what it's seeing here. But I'm watching it, so oh. I'm, I'll make sure it doesn't do anything oh, crazy. Oh, does it do this itself as well? Yeah, so see how it shows everything it's seeing yeah. here? So it sees, okay, there's a guy crossing the street, so we need to wait for him. Yeah. And now it can make its left turn. And are you pressing the buttons? No. You're doing nothing? I'm just watching, making sure it doesn't make any mistakes. Which you would. <laughs> Which no. the other cars I've seen with the spinning light, the spinning right, cameras, right. and that's the ones I was thinking. Yeah, some of them need those, but this one can drive with just cameras. So you get cameras in the wing mirrors and the sides as well? Yeah, it's got cameras around the car. Look at that, you see cars coming up in those. Huh? <laughs> I know, there's a lot of these self-driving cars around here now. It's kind of crazy. I just saw one driving around without a driver. Yeah, and did they hire, did people hire them? Did they? <laughs> yeah, you can you can call. It's it's limited to only certain people, but you can call one in the app. They have one service cruise that has driverless rides at night if you want to take one. It's just weird, is it? <laughs> I think we should try that. Uh, yeah, just, you should try it. It'd be even funnier if you sat there. That's like we're on a road. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah I, I don't have to touch anything. But how does it know what speed to go? Just the speed that everyone else is going or? It can read the speed limit signs. So I've, I've told it to just go just a bit above the speed limit. So you can see here the speed limit's 25. Yeah. So it's going 29. And did that indicate and move in itself? Yeah, changing lanes itself, doing everything. Oh my God. 
<laughs> even when that's the cool thing is even when you're driving manually it's checking everything making sure you don't get in it into any accidents or anything yeah. like that they were saying that there was I don't know if it was in the UK or if it was here that somebody caused an accident uh -huh. because the it wasn't um, a I don't know what but it wasn't a it should do or something. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, con it wasn't. Uh, yeah. The yeah. computer wasn't. It was for fast or something, and uh -huh. they were going too fast, mm. and it can't, the computer wasn't working properly or something. Uh, and it caused an accident. Yeah, you got to be careful. It's still not a hundred percent there yet, where you can just trust it. You still it need to watch it. It wasn't properly yeah. for the speed that the car was going or something, uh -huh. and it had caused an accident right yeah but I don't think it, it was like a driverless uh -huh. you know I think it was just a Tesla in general. yeah yeah you got to be careful when you're using uh, you know driver assist technology yeah. so it's just there to assist you really it yeah. doesn't doesn't mean you can you know not pay attention or go too fast you first tried it and it started changing lanes do you not get nervous and look in the mirror and go what were you doing what are you? <laughs> yeah it's a little bit weird at first but uh you get used to it oh you get used to your own car don't you? <laughs> it wasn't programmed you get a weird so feeling much. in your stomach at first when you first try it it's yeah. like something's not right here. Yeah, it's just changed lane and I didn't <laughs> ask it to, but it knows <laughs> further down the lane. I'm turning left, so I need to change lane. <laughs> And is this camera in the middle part of it? Is this your dash cam? Yeah, it's a dash cam, exactly. Just to record what happens. Yeah. How many miles do you get out of it before you have to? Uh, this one about 315. Some of them go up to 400. So what, the uh, all day? Oh yeah, for San Francisco you can get around, you know, you can drive as much as you want in a single day and not have to charge. It's really only for road trips that you have to find a charger. Yeah. So yeah, it works really great. That is good for the for this area then, uh -huh. isn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. yeah because the distances are so small and so, people yeah. driving so slow, it's perfect. Mm-hmm. Economical. <laughs> well, don't Just expensive to buy, but you can only um, do it. Can it read the registration plates of other cars and things? Does it? I don't think it does anything like that. It but just knows uh, they're there and where they are. Yeah, it just is mostly focused on just knowing where people are and not bumping into anything. So the minute you put your hands on a wheel, it knows you're you're in control. Exactly. So if yeah. you did something wrong, I could just grab the wheel and yeah. it would override it. And the wheel still mechanically linked you know so yeah you can't override that it actually physically moves the parts does everybody ask you questions about this car <laughs> oh it, time? it's actually extremely common when i give people rides everyone says oh i've never been in a tesla before i bet <laughs> But I love showing people because yeah. so many people don't know that this is something you can get, you know, yeah, that you yeah. can buy. And it's of interest to everybody. Yeah. Yeah,
Uber app plug straight into that so or do you type in where we were going and things or is it all connected yeah I have to type it in right now but that would be really cool you're right if it just integrated with the Uber yeah. right there Tesla wants to launch their own version of Uber once they get them fully driverless and then people can just request the car from them. I bet you. fall asleep on the job. <laughs> no. No, not yet. I'm, no. I'm, I'm good at staying awake and it's also got a camera up here so if it sees you not paying attention or you're using your phone or falling asleep it'll that start was, beeping at you. It'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, they thought of it because you know people yeah. always pay, don't pay attention or fall asleep. Yeah. I, I just come out. You're bad at indicating. I'm bad at not indicating. I see a space. And I know I can get in it. I just go in it. <laughs> yeah, it's a life changer. Definitely improves safety. I mean, I, the way I drive is much less safe than this. That's why I leave it on. <laughs> it's because I was scaring the passengers driving myself. That's especially, great, then. especially since this car goes zero to sixty in three seconds. Yes. So then, this is a little more, a little more calm of a driver follows the rules a little better than Zero to 60 yeah. in three seconds. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> is that to do with the kilowatts or something that it has? Or yeah, the electric it... motors are just really fast. They're, you know, instant and yeah. they're very powerful. What model range would this be? This one's the performance. It goes uh, 315 and the long range goes up to 350 miles. So has it got like a Tesla i something after it or something or? It's the it... Model 3 performance, yeah. Model 3. That's fast, isn't it? Three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're not going to use that much around here, <laughs> are you? No, you can't really use it too much. No. Unless you're on an open See, road you people, you're on. Didn't you need people there? Make it easy too if you're a tourist you'll be able to navigate any city like you live there yeah. travel all around the world and be able to drive yeah can you imagine if you if it gets past tesla and it ends up like different cars and then mm -hmm. sort of yeah mobile home you know like oh yeah things, and then you like a couple decide to go i don't know oh yeah i'd love over that the world with a Self-driving mobile van. home, yeah, <laughs> that'd be Tyler great. Thing. Yeah, yeah, I think all cars are gonna have it, you Eventually. know. Because who would want a car that doesn't have this once this technology gets out there? Yeah, yeah. It's like when they first went electric, isn't it? The more oh, and more. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Look at the state of that next. <laughs> no wonder she's looking at a Tesla. <laughs> Gee, they need cameras. In that car. Look, doggy, dude. Look at other doggy. She is. That's oh, yeah, that's the new dog park. People love their dogs here because they can't afford to have kids. So that, I've heard that there's more dogs. <laughs> they just have than dogs. Kids. Yeah, it's true. I don't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got kids right enough, but why <laughs> me? A dog is always happy to see you. <laughs> true. Very expensive though, San Francisco, is it? Oh yeah, everything's ridiculously overpriced. There's not enough room here for everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's all going up the way, up the way instead of out the way. <laughs> yeah. Can't really get any further though, can it? 
But you know what, Ian? You complain because we've got a massive front garden and a mm. massive back garden <laughs> and cutting the grass. You complain at that. And yeah. Don't you? It doesn't matter what you've got. You know, so. <laughs> and these ones go up the way instead of out the way. <laughs> so, no matter what we've got, we'll be complaining. By the time I go home, it will be, the grass will be starting to grow. It will, yeah. It'll be the next thing. So it takes its time going down here, does it? Is that it doing it? It's breaking itself, or are you breaking Yeah, it? there were some people crossing, so I was being a little bit careful Cautious, of them. Yeah. yeah. Especially when it's downhill. Don't want to accidentally roll and hit someone or something. No, you do not. <laughs> no. So is this your first time yes. in a self-driving car? Yes. 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 <laughs> Jesus, yes. So how would you say it was in terms of comfort overall? Amazing. Huh? Yeah. I, I think it accelerates and mm. decelerates faster than... It's mm -hmm. very um, <laughs> smooth, isn't it? It's still smooth because it's, it's a nice car. <laughs> but you know that acceleration mm. for it to then brake again? <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice smoother. Yeah, kind of definitely thing. some things that could be refined a little, made a little better. I don't know. You'll notice it because you're driving it every day. <laughs> but well, I haven't seen you driving, so I might give it ten <laughs> out of ten. <laughs> no. So it's an experience for us. But it's definitely the way to go for taxis and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, it's definitely potentially more predictable. With taxis, you don't know who you're gonna get. Sometimes you get a good driver, sometimes you get kind yeah, of a yeah. questionable driver. Yeah. But this, at least, you'll know. Judge in the hole. Why is he still three in the driveway? <laughs> He's trying to pick someone up from the hotel, I guess. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, thank you very much for the technology lesson <laughs> and the drive home. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. Much. Thank you. you take, take care. care.